Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain short key diode with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. Here, I'll explain symbol, basics, structure, characteristics, and features of short key diode. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is symbol of short key diode. Short key diode is two terminal device. First terminal is anode and second terminal is cathode. And symbol of short key diode that is appearing like this. Now I'll explain basics of short key diode. The short key diode is also known as short key barrier diode. In many books you might have seen name as short key barrier diode SBD. So short key diode is also known as short key barrier diode. See in standard PN junction diode we have PN junction but in short key diode we have metal semiconductor junction. Usually in diode we have PN junction but in short key diode we have metal semiconductor junction. So with short key diode we have metal semiconductor junction. Here metal is typically aluminium, platinum or gold while semiconductor will be usually N type semiconductor silicon. So here in metal semiconductor junction metal could be aluminium, platinum or gold while semiconductor could be N type silicon. In N type silicon one should know majority charge carriers are electrons. So here in short key diode current flows because of electrons only. See in normal PN junction diode current flows because of electrons and holes as we have P type and N type material. But in short key diode we have only N type semiconductor material and with N type semiconductor material we have majority charge carriers as a electrons. So current in short key diode flows because of electrons only. Right. The short key diode is having faster switching characteristics compared to standard PN junction diode. And as it is having faster switching characteristics, one can use it in RF or microwave circuits. See in RF or microwave, we will be having higher frequencies. In microwave, frequency range is there from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So frequencies are there in form of gigahertz, where we need to have faster switching. That is possible using short key diode. With conventional PN junction diode, we cannot have that fast switching characteristics. But with short key diode, we have faster switching characteristics. That's why we use short key diode in microwave. The short key diode that is having low forward voltage drop. That forward voltage drop is typically around 0.2 voltage to 0.3 voltage, which is quite lower compared to silicon PN junction diode. With silicon PN junction diode, forward voltage drop is around 0.7 voltage. And because of short key diode is having lower forward voltage drop, it is having lower power loss. So short key diode is having lower forward voltage drop. Because of which it is having lower power loss compared to conventional PN junction diode. Right. Now I'll explain structure of short key diode. As I have told you, with short key diode, we have metal semiconductor junction. So you see here we have metal, here we have N type semiconductor. So here we have metal semiconductor junction with short key diode. This metal is connected with anode and this N type silicon that is connected with cathode. That is how standard structure is there. But for microwave, here bit detailed structure that is shown over here where here we have metal and here we have semiconductor and here we have metal semiconductor junction. This metal is connected with anode and this semiconductor that is connected with cathode and here we have provided ceramic housing. This metal could be of aluminium, platinum or gold and here if you observe N minus and N plus is shown. So first of all one should know what is N minus. The N minus is N type semiconductor material 
बट विथ एन माइनस वी हैव लोअर डोपिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मीन्स यू कैन से वी हैव लेस नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विथ एन माइनस इवन दू हियर मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स आर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओनली बट लोअर डॉपिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल बी देर वाइल विथ एन प्लस वी हैव हायर डोपिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स तो हियर विद एन प्लस वी हैव हायर डोपिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हियर वी हैव लोअर डॉपिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिकॉज ऑफ विच इन दिस डिरेक्शन इलेक्ट्रॉन ड्रिफ्ट विल बी वेरी फास्ट बिकॉज ऑफ विच दिस शॉर्ट की डायड विल बी हैविंग फास्टर स्विचिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हियर दर विल बी ड्रिफ्टिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एज दिस इज एन प्लस which is having higher concentration of electrons and here we have n minus which is having lower concentration of electrons so there will be drifting of electrons which results into faster velocity of electrons in this direction because of which there will be fast switching characteristics with short key diode right but it is not compulsory to have n plus and n minus usually we have it with microwave short key diodes only right now i'll explain characteristics of short key diode let us compare characteristics of short key diode with pn junction diode if you observe here by red color i have shown characteristics of pn junction diode and by this sky blue color i have shown characteristics of short key diode on horizontal axis we have voltage and on vertical axis we have current see in this first quadrant we have forward bias voltage characteristics in first quadrant voltage and current both are positive here we have forward bias characteristics in forward bias characteristics if you observe this pn junction diode that is having forward drop voltage that is 0.7 while with short key diode it is typically around 0.2 to 0.3 voltage because of which in forward bias there is less power loss which is there with short key diode if you observe reverse bias characteristics then in reverse bias short key diode is having greater reverse leakage current you can observe this is leakage current so with short key diode we have greater reverse leakage current typically that reverse leakage current with short key diode is around 70 micro ampere to 140 micro ampere while with pn junction diode reverse leakage current is low typically that is there around 1 micro ampere to 2 micro ampere so one can say with short key diode we have higher leakage current even you can observe breakdown voltage So that is lower over here. So with short key diode, we have lower breakdown voltage and higher leakage current. So one cannot use short key diode in high power applications. The reason is it is having lower breakdown voltage and higher reverse leakage current. That's why we don't use short key diode in high power applications. That one should know, right? Now I'll explain key features of short key diode. the short key diode is having low forward voltage drop in characteristics also i have explained with short key diode we have forward voltage drop that is around 0.2 to 0.3 voltage while with normal silicon pn junction diode forward voltage drop is 0.7 voltage because of which with short key diode we have lower power loss and because of lower forward voltage drop short key diode is having faster switching as well right so because of lower forward voltage drop with short key diode we have fast switching and low power loss short key diode is having fast switching speed the absence of minority carrier charge storage leads to faster switching speed making short key diode suitable for high frequency applications in structure i have explained with short key diode we have metal semiconductor junction metal could be of aluminium gold or platinum and semiconductor will be n type semiconductor so here we have no minority charge carriers right here majority charge carriers are electrons 
because of which here we have faster switching speed and that leads to high frequency applications of short key diode. The next feature is based on low reverse recovery time. The reverse recovery time with short key diode is less. One should know based on reverse recovery time only, one can define switching speed. So short key diode that is having negligible reverse recovery time, which is the time take for diode to switch from conducting to blocking mode. So on to off, that is what switching off diode, where here we have negligible reverse recovery time because of which switching is faster. But there are few issues with short key diode that one should know. See with short key diode, we have more reverse leakage current. In reverse bias, I have explained we have more reverse leakage current. With short key diode, that reverse leakage current that could be from 70 microampere to 140 microampere. That is quite large compared to normal PN junction diode. With normal PN junction diode, that reverse leakage current that is there from 1 microampere to 2 microampere. Because of more reverse leakage current, one cannot use short key diode in high power applications. See with short key diode, we have less peak inverse voltage. So first of all, one should know what is peak inverse voltage. Peak inverse voltage is reverse bias voltage that can sustain by diode. Like if you have diode in the reverse bias and if you apply reverse bias voltage and if you gradually increase it after some voltage there will be breakdown so diode can sustain up to some reverse bias voltage only after that there will be breakdown of diode with short key diode breakdown happens at lower voltage that's why with short key diode peak inverse voltage is also low so short key diode is having more reverse leakage current and less peak inverse voltage because of which we use short key diode for low power and fast switching applications. Right. Short key diode is not used for high power applications. So that is how basics are there with short key diode. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Till if anything that I would like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.